So eight years, Tammy, how, how would you sum up uh, your role as city hmm. commissioner? Remember, this is live television. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. It's hard to sum it up, but um, it's been an interesting eight years for sure. Um, it's been an incredible learning experience. I don't think people understand how complex things really are until you're in the middle of it and you know, learn how, to, how everything works from you know, every single city department all the way up to, you know, sure. All the economic development and retail development and all those things nobody thinks about during their daily life. So, so, so in summary, you're saying it's a lot more than just showing up on Tuesdays for me. <laughs> and absolutely, there's a lot of homework. Is. There is a lot, a lot, lot, lot of homework. How would you? Um, we kind of touched on this a little bit. I'm going to ask you to summarize your experience. What would you summarize the highlights of your eight years as Ward Five? City um, <clears throat> we did a lot right at the beginning. We were kind of just right on the cusp of doing a lot of really, really big things when I first got on. So um, one of the first things we did was um, the remodeling of Convention Hall and the building of the event center. So that was a big deal right in the very, you know, we hit the ground running with that. So we did that. Um, you know, we've had a new fire station built. Um, we've had, gosh, it's hard to think of all the things we've done. Um, We've done, we did lots of retail development over, you know, where the old Homeland building used to be. Now that's a super active retail spot in Enid and it's um, doing great things over there. We've worked really hard on economic development and retail development in town. Um, and the so key word done. there on economic development is work. Work. <laughs> things just really <laughs> don't true. come down Highway 412 to Enid. Right. Everybody, the Broken Arrows, the Moors, the Midwest cities, everybody is, is vying for attention. Yeah, so, so it's work. we're competing against every city in the state and the whole country really when you go to try to woo people, you know, to sell the story why they should come to Enid. And so that's one of the things we've spent a lot of time doing. Um, and I think we'll see the fruits of that eventually. Um, none of this moves quickly. So um, that's something, you know, people say, well, you said we were going to do, well, it's coming. <laughs> it's right. just, it takes a while sometimes to, you know, get all that done from beginning to end. But um, another big thing we've, a project we've worked on the entire time I've been on the council is the water issue, which, you know, took several years, five or six years to finally get to where, what we, to decide what we were going to do. And then we moved on the car pipeline. So that's a huge, that's probably not only the, one of the biggest things in our terms that we did, but in the history of Enid, really. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to go down as being a, a big, big, big move. And then, um, but you know, then everybody's still going to have water in 20 years. So that's important. Uh, it's been one of the, that's been one of the more important <coughs> things we've done for sure. And then another thing that we've talked about for almost the whole time is we started talking about a hotel downtown several years ago and it's finally you can see it <laughs> yeah yeah so when we actually saw you know things go up and dirt move it was really exciting because that did, was a long time coming too so well for someone who knows behind the scenes the work that you all put in in preparation for the meetings appreciate your service thank you. and thank your you. contribution thank because you. Uh, again you're doing a lot more than just showing up on tuesday yes. <laughs> uh, setting on television studio set talking yes. about projects